talking about technology. And that's what I'm trying to say. It's inner technology, and you have to understand what technology really is. You don't understand what technology is because every time we say technology, you're thinking this and that. No. Your body is the highest level of technology there is. That is what that is. And I don't, I don't have my paper with the, with the breakdown of the word right now, and I, I can't remember. But anyway, I define it on my website. I've broken it down according to um, techno and, and, and the other aspects of the word in terms of what it really does mean. And technology is really about taking energy and forming it into whatever it is, energy, whatever it is you're choosing to form it in. That's really what technology is. And your body is that. Your body is so equipped and so powerful in the sense of, of your capabilities, in the sense of, 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 of waking up and mastering. I'm not, the word mastering isn't the word I really want to use, but really being able to, um, to interchange matter, antimatter, being able to do that. This is what this is about. This is about you understanding how to take matter, how to take energy and shape it and mold it. And that begins with you, with your body, with your mind, with your brain. It's all, it's all technology, but it's divine technology. And it's that divine technology that has created these planets and the universe and all the other universes that exist that you don't hear about. We exist as systems within systems. So it's one system into another system into another system. Many, many echoing, echoing. And what we are, what we are right now, we are the echo of future timelines. And when we talk about Sirius or these planets, these other um, yeah, planets being light years away, you know, we're, we're simply speaking of, of of, of timelines, of, of, of other timelines, but we don't really see it that way. Timeline is based on, uh, when I say timelines, it's based on uh, uh, distance, um, uh, speed. You know, we're talking velocity because speed, the faster something spins, um, as I used the, the fan as an anal analogy, I think, the other day, when you have it on low speed, you can see it. And you medium, you can still see it. But as it escalates as you put it up to high and if you could turn it up even more it disappears it's not it's not an impossibility to understand it disappears so that's why you don't see all the other things that are here in this space because they're they're vibrating at a different exactly at a higher rate of speed well your body is supposed to be able to do that so you can go anywhere that you choose to the only difference is when somebody said last week about uh, living forever, that's the misconception. Every time we think of that, we think we're here in this timeline. We think we're here, always in this body. No, you're not. You are evolving. You are ascending. You are ascending to different levels. That's what's going on. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> you were saying. You're ascending to different levels, and that's what needs to be understood. Now, we hear a lot of the New Age talk, they're talking about ascending and ascending, and I'm like, okay, well, okay, where, where are you going? Where, what, where, are you, where are you going? I don't hear anybody telling me anything. We're, ju oh, we're just ascending. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but the thing is, there is ascension of the soul, and then there's ascension of the physical body. And I think I talked about that a little bit last week. Sometimes I don't remember what I said. But um, there's, so there's, there's those two uh, ascensions which, you know, they become one. They, they really do become one. But the reason why you want your body to move into that, to go along with that, is because the ultimate... The ultimate learning experience here as human beings in third density in this physical body is really to master matter, is to go, whoo, I got it, whoo, I got it. And then you are soaring and you are taking on a physical a vehicle according 
to where you've ascended to, to those points, those pockets of, of time or no time. If, if you are in a reality that is pure light or sound, that's what you will be. You will operate from that perspective, but it doesn't mean that your body has decayed. It does not mean that. It just simply means that the molecules of your body have shifted. They have, they have folded up. They are moving so fast but they move fast in, in terms of moving into the consciousness of that particular field of time that you're operating in. And these are things that are so important to understand because when you understand this, when you start to get this, you start to turn your body back on. You start to, to reactivate your body. And so when, when they talk about um, the Merkaba and uh, sacred geometry and, and some of these things. And, and I hear a lot of rehearsed practice things. And, and, and it's not about that. It's not about just practicing a particular movement like that. You have to be fluid with it. You have to flow with the transition. So it's not just about practicing the step and flow. And if I, that's probably why I didn't do workshops, because it would have worn me out. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have been able to deal with the systems like that. But what I have learned that it is about fluidity and you don't have to worry about becoming. You don't have to worry about that when you get it. You don't have to go, um, like somebody asked me uh, on a radio show uh, some time ago, um, how do I charge up my melanin? <laughs> And I understood the innocence with that. But you can't fragment yourself like that. It's the whole being. It's the whole being. Your consciousness is what's coming in and then reigniting your body, your cells. Your body will just go along with that higher vibrating consciousness mm -hmm. and do what it needs to do, providing that you are aware that this is what's supposed to happen. But when you begin to fracture yourself like that, and like the doctor, you're gonna fix this thing, and then that thing, and that thing. It doesn't work like that. This, this system works together. It works together. And the reason for the, um, I was gonna say, the reason for the, the decaying process, and it just went out of, I mean, I have it here, but there's a specific thought I wanted to, to mention about that. Um, I should just slip my mind. But anyway, the, the reason for the decaying process is the shutting down or the, the, the limitation then of, the, um, of, of knowledge. When you learn what you learn and it becomes just memorized information, your pineal